I'm Delta Work, and this is Very Delta. Today's show is no joke. She's the Russian doll with a heart of stone. The beautiful Kathy A. is with us today. But first, do you want to see me go off? Because I think you want to see me go off. Oh, 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 shit. Sorry I'm late. (laughs) M. Oh. M. Mom! Are you a lady like me? Introspective, beautiful. Oh, are you intellectual like me? Beguiled by a bargain? You like wild times? Oh, like me? Are you serving the community like me? Well, if you are, then you must be very Delta. I'm Delta Work, and this is Very Delta, a luxury public access podcast and YouTube talk show where I look gorgeous, speak extemporaneously, and invite fascinating people to sit on the couch and get Very Delta. Very Delta is for the woman who nods like she can hear what you're saying, but she's really thinking about ordering a new bottle of Youth Dew by Estee Lauder. But first, let's get into some things that are Very Delta. All lemon lime carbonated sodas like a Sprite or Sierra Mist or Slice or now called Starry, um, they all taste the same. When I was a kid, there was Bubble Up. And that's nobody in here is old enough to remember Bubble Up, but it was a real drink. And it was right next to 7 Up and it was delicious. And then Slice came out. Pepsi had Slice. And Slice was the lemon lime from them and Sprite. Sprite has always stood by their thing. They're like, we're Sprite. We are Sprite. And we understand that people want us to say zero calories, zero sugar, zero Sprite. I don't know what if zero and diet are supposed to be like, did zero replace diet? Like people don't like the term diet or is it like a American Medical Association thing? I don't know what that is, but Sprite has at least always been like, We're Sprite. Sierra Mist, you can do what you want. If you want to become, um, if if Slice wants to become Sierra Mist, so be it. And then if Sierra Mist was like, I've changed my identity. I would like to be known as Starry. They were like, we respect you. Like, we respect your pronoun or whatever. Like, we're still Sprite. I kind of feel like Sprite, in a way, is like the... um, like your friend from high school that like knows that you're gay and is like, hey, if you want to feel like, hey, hey, Slice, hey, little Slice, I know you're feeling yourself and you want to be Sierra Mist as a stage name. Go for it. I'm with you. And then Sierra Mist was like, you know what? I'm taking this on the road, actually. It's not just a stage name. It's who I am. And I am not known by two names. There's Cher. There's Madonna. I'm Starry. And I want to be respected as that. And I feel like Sprite was like, I'm still Sprite. You know what I mean? I'm still Sprite. I'm not, I can't change who I am. But I hold the space for you to change who you are. And if you want to be known as Starry, I will not dead name you. I'm not going to call you Slice. I know you as Slice. And I know that you know that I knew you before all this Sierra Mist and Starry business. But I know it's not just business. I know it's the real you. And I will never, ever dead name you, Starry. I would never do that to you. Because you would never try to change who I am. Now, I know that I'm a little, you know, light in my loafers-ish, so I can be zero. Like, you're a zero. Like, um, I love that song, Saved by Zero. Do you know that song? Um, but what I, my, my thing is, what I'm getting at is, with all of this, is how come Cactus Cooler never released a diet version? Why is there no diet Cactus Cooler? Cactus Cooler in itself is the only drink of its profile. So 
for instance, if you get a, a root beer, every company has their own root beer, right? Like an A&W, a Dad's. There is a Mr. Pibb to a Dr. Pepper. There's like an opposite. There is a... Um, a Sprite to a Slice Sierra Miss Starry, correct? Why then was there never an opposite to a Cactus Cooler, which is a um, citrus but pineapple-y drink? Squirt never had one either, but Squirt offered you diet. But what I'm saying is, imagine if Cactus Cooler had their own zero or their own diet. They wouldn't have any competition because there's nobody else like them. They, they're like, we have our own thing. Squirt did it. You can even, oh my gosh, what's the place I love? Shasta. Shasta has Hawaiian punch. They finally released a Shasta Zero carbonated Hawaiian punch. Why can I not have a diet cactus cooler? I don't understand why you wouldn't want to do that. You'd be the only drink like it. The only national drink like it. And you can't do that. Ooh, I love a diet cream soda. Hmm, I love cream soda. Did you know you can take a can of soda and you can pour it in a cake mix, just a, a box cake mix, and you can mix it up and you can bake a cake like that with no other ingredients. And it's not bad. I mean, it sticks to the side of the thing and it's like, it's a little, it's a little tacky in a way. And I don't mean tacky like, oh, that's tacky. I mean, like it's sticky in a way. But, you know, you can come to me with any um, tricks to losing weight and I can give you all of the facts. I know all the facts. I just don't apply them. Um, but listen, I have been a card carrying member at Weight Watchers since, my God, I was probably 19 years old. I haven't been to Weight Watchers in like two years and they still take $40, $39 out of my checking account every month. I just realized that. God, that's a lot of money. Diet beverages are no points on Weight Watchers. I wonder why I don't just fill up on diet beverages all day long and like, like get sick from it. If I just got sick from it and I was like, oh God, I can't, I can't eat a thing. And then as soon as I started to feel better, I just drank a whole bunch more. And then as soon as I... I would never be hungry. I have I have the key. You know what I mean? I know how this is done. I just don't know why I don't apply it. Huh. Did you ever think too, like Coke has its drinks and Pepsi has its drinks, right? But there's this like middle ground area where like A&W, Sunkissed Orange, 7-Up, they kind of feel like a little, like they get, they're on sale with the others. And I feel like they are part of maybe the Coke brand in a way, but they seem so kind of like left of center. They are very Suzanne Vega. Like they are just, they're just kind of like, we're on our own. You know what I mean? Like we, we ride at dawn, we show up, we do our thing. We're really not part of this. We're really not part of that. They're like the kids in high school who like, um, don't really eat with anybody at lunch. They just kind of hang out on their own. They don't, they don't bring, they don't pack a lunch. They don't eat lunch in the cafeteria. They're not nerds. They're not like smart kids. They're not cool kids. They're just kind of like off on their own. A and W, Canada Dry, even um, Seven Up, if I didn't say it. They all are the kids who smoke cigarettes at lunch. They just have cigarettes and they hang out by the tree and they're like, mm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but they're definitely the people that you hang out later in life. You're like, Hey, didn't we go to school together? They're not like, I don't know. They're artists. Seven up is art. Sunkissed is art. And Cactus Cooler has every opportunity to be as fucking cool as them. And it just doesn't want to do it. It's like mm -mm, full sugar or nothing, full sugar or nothing. I mean, I guess I can respect it in a way because they have the opportunity to do it. They just don't want to do it. The company's like, mm -mm, this is this is not, we don't want you to be worried about it. We want you to drink the full 140 calories in this can. We want you to consume all of the sugar. We don't want to water it down. We don't want to be there. I'm not going to be forced into something. I'm not going to be bullied. I'm not going to be ignored because you are worried about sugar intake. And that's what a lot of people don't drink diet beverages. You know, they say that you, even though there's no calories or no sugar, you still can gain weight by drinking these things. And I know there's a science behind it. And I think the science is 
it triggers something in you that makes you hungry, right? There's like a, there's a term for it. And so that's why people who are drinking them and they're like, like, you know, I drink Diet Coke all day long. Um, and of course, Paris Hilton said it the best when she said, only fat people drink Diet Coke. And you know what? It's kind of true. I feel like it's weird when people go, oh, you're going to have all that in a Diet Coke? That's going to help. I don't want it to help. I wasn't trying to get it to negate all the calories. I'm drinking it because I fucking like the way it tastes. Like when people are like, oh, I'm going to have like uh, in Greece. Oh, can we get two hamburgers, two fries and two milkshakes? Who is drinking dessert with their food? A milkshake is not refreshing. A milkshake is dessert. It's not a beverage. Who is drinking that? And they're like, mm, let me wash down my hamburger. No, eat it after. Chill out for a little bit. Wait like an hour. Well, see, because that's why I can't have dessert at a restaurant. I can order it to go, but I can't have it in the restaurant because I'm full. And what about when people are like, you know, you shouldn't be full. You should just eat until you're comfortable. <laughs> oh, come on. Be full sometimes. It's like absolutely okay to be like, I got to walk this off. I got to walk this off. I want to feel my ribs. Exp you know what I mean? Like, I just don't understand why. What's the big deal? Like, you're not going to live that long. I fucking hope not. Ah, damn. I keep trying. I give. I try to give my body to the sky all the time. Do you understand? God. Do you want to see me take a break? I think you want to see me take a break. The new star series, Mary and George, starring Julianne Moore and Nicholas Galitzine, tells a story almost too outrageous to be true, but shockingly, it is. With next to nothing to her name and looking to elevate her social standing, Mary Villiers sets her handsome and charming son George on the path to seduce King James I and become his all-powerful lover. You won't be able to look away as you've never seen a mother-son duo like this before. The show is full of wit, scandal, action, and uh, did I mention Julianne Moore? You don't want to miss this historical psychodrama unfold. Imagine setting your son up to seduce a king. Wow. Something this audacious and sexy is as genre bending as it gets. Mary and George premieres April 5th only on Stars and the Stars app. Do you ever like see people focusing on something and they're like, <laughs> like it's like a <laughs> focusing on something and then you're like why are they moaning like that like what is why do they do that I think it's big black cocks cocks big black cocks like my coxes <laughs> my coxes huge big black cocks 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 cock. <laughs> what would, was the video I saw there was a video it was like a um, it was a porn from the UK okay but um, the girl that was in it was, um, she was like this smallish, beautiful girl. And she's like sitting on this guy's dick. And she's like, but she looks drunk in a way. So she's like all trying and she's trying. And she goes, hold on, baby. Let me lose the hills. It's complicated with the hills. But she said hills. Hills. It's complicated with the hills. Hold on, baby. Let me lose the hills. <laughs> Complicated the, the hills. The hills. It was like Chanel Perillo ish in a way. Like, it was the hills. The hills. Yeah, it's complicated with the hills. And the other girl was going ferociously on this guy's dick. She had two hands going. And she then she's like, oh yeah. And then she like lifts up his dick and starts licking his balls. She's like, ooh, I'm a chewing your ball. Chew on your ball. That's what she said. And so what she was I'm, saying I'm is. I'm chewing on your balls like that. I'm she, chewing your balls. Chewing your balls. Wait, wait. Chewing on balls? Yeah. Chewing on See, balls. See, that doesn't sound hot to me at all. Like to chew on them. Well, actually, it sounds it sounds super hot to me. It does? Yeah. Because I love to chew on everyone's balls, including yours. Do you like to smack them? No, I stuff them up my ass. Wow. Have you ever stuffed your own balls in your ass? Oh, God, I wish. I know. Can you imagine? Yeah. You too, do imagine. Too, too clearly, I Doesn't think. Doesn't everyone imagine? I mean, come on. 
This is a safe place to talk about anything like that. A safe place, a safe space. This is your home as well. I need your balls up my ass. I know you do. Everyone does. I it's what people so dream bad. of. I need your balls up my ass so bad. Have you ever had <laughs> someone else's balls in your ass, honestly? Oh, my God. That would Don't be, be afraid. So... Balls up my ass. Right. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Yes. I want your balls up my ass. Mm. Right now. Mm. Please. May I? Qua. My guest today is one of the biggest drag stars in the entire world. A polyglot with a porn addiction. Absolutely. It's Katya Z. Trapdoor diarrhea. Katya Z. No. We've had other Katyas here. We had Katya M. No. Um, what? Yeah. Do you like when people say Katya? I don't. I, I like, don't like that. Gaj. In Brazil, they say Gaj. Oh, they do? Yeah. That's weird. Are the balls different in Brazil? Oh, yes. Really? Are you joking? Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, I... Well, yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Oh, they're very different. Mm -hmm. More tan, yeah, probably. Yeah, more tan, and then... Do you have a preference? Like, do you like one that's more mauve, a set that's mauve? Do you like when one is lower than the other? For balls? Or when they tighten up into the body? I love it when they tighten up and they become a part of the digestive tract. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the penis hangs over like that um, gonzo effect. Okay. The, the balls go sweeping mm -hmm. up, the penis hangs over, and then you just... Psh, psh, psh. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer this a, a penis that's this angle, this angle, this angle? Elevator button. Okay. This big. Okay. I want a penis that is like... Just the teeth this big. Oh, do you like someone in a cock cage? I would never say that. You would never say I, it, it, but you've like seen you it. You are so presumptuous. Mm -hmm. and, well, that's what I do. I, I, I make presumptions, I'm, then I assess, and then I make a judgment. And then you just, you insult. Uh-huh, embarrass, insult. You humiliate. Um, <clears throat> hi, foo. <laughs> Happy Foo's Day. Happy Foo, oh, yes. Would you rather have a cheeseburger or a hamburger if they were offered to you? I don't like cheese. You don't? Only on pizza. Ugh. What is it about cheese that you don't like? I like hot cheese, but like camembert. Camembert? I don't like it. Okay. Delta, you don't, don't have like... to eat it. There's so many other things. You know, when I was a kid, my mom used to say, um, my aunts would say, oh, he's not eating his vegetables. And my mom would say, he can find another vegetable he likes. Uh, thank you. So he, thank he you. doesn't like peas. How about we ask him if he likes broccoli? And if he doesn't like that, let's see if maybe he likes, I don't know, squash. That part. What are some of your favorite vegetables? Carrots. Really? Well, How do you like them prepared? Uh, oh, so according to my mother, mm -hmm. this could be true. She's dead. Um, I ate carrots for six to eight years straight and turned orange. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I love carrots that are like um, baked with um, cinnamon and sugar. And butter, oh, that's good. See, that's butter. funny you say that because, you know, they, you always see people say like, oh, do you like sweet potato pie or do you like, um, um, you know, like yams? Like, yams. And they're both kind of a similar what root vegetable. What the fuck vegetable? is a yam? What is a yam? What the fuck is a yam? Green eggs and yams you've never had? Wait, Samantha, Samantha Jones. Right. Sex in the City. Right. Yams. What the hell is a yam? You know what a yam is. I, I really don't. I think you do. Oh, yam. Well, it's like a carrot, but it's more like a sweet potato. And it's like a regular potato. You pull my leg. So where I'm going with this is, why do people not get potatoes and season them the way that they would season a sweet potato pie and then just serve it as a potato pie? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that again. Do you like... Do you know what a sweet potato pie is? Sweet potato pie. Mm -hmm. No. It's mostly a Thanksgiving, a fall, oh, sure. late summer, early fall okay. dish, right? Sweet potato pie. So if a sweet potato is just a sweeter version of a potato, right? couldn't you just make a sweet potato pie with a russet potato and it would just be a less sweet version? It, yes. You could do it. Well, absolutely. I don't you know could. why it's not being done. Because I think people are afraid of success. Yeah. They're Do afraid you of you. Um I I no. Um I don't I know how to make minute rice. Yeah, that's great. That's a good start. I think so. 
Yeah. It takes me forever, though. Is rice your favorite carb, or what would you say your favorite carb is? Oh, rice, 100%. Yeah. How do you like to have rice? White rice, with steamed rice, okay. with uh, a vegetable, some kind of drizzle. Like what kind of vegetable, though? Broccoli, mm-hmm. carrot. Um, what's the, what other vegetables are there? Well, you could have with that um, some um, some squash. You could have with that some corn. Corn? But doesn't it go right through you? It does. It, it comes out the same way it went in. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Just the middle comes out, and then that skin floats around. The skin floats around. Mm-hmm. Do you like it with skin or with no skin? Oh, I love skin. You like extra skin? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You do? What do you I like about to, that? I have to tell you something. Tell me. The temperature in here is so erotic. Is it? It's we try so, to keep it about 65. It's so erotic mm-hmm. that I could explode really with juices like i could i could ski on your face and drown you really oh yeah where now when you are I having homosexual skeet. sex with people where do you like to have your orgasm where do you like to release on their face anally excuse inside? me excuse me yeah they, is, well you said you were going to explode how dare you presume that i have sex oh you i know what you are i'm a never nude you're a squirter Oh my God, I wish. Don't Please right. don't joke about that. Do you think that there's people that can squirt from their anus? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. What do you think about practical jokes? I, if, oh, I love practical jokes. However, if you were to say, like, pull a prank on me, mm-hmm. where, I don't know, like, there is, um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre came in, like, chopped off my head. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, that's not funny. Mm-hmm. But a whoopee cushion is fierce. Right. Well, I think a, f- a fart is hilarious. Absolutely. I think it is absolutely hilarious. What, what about farting during sex, though? Um, I think anything that happens with your body during sex, it should just be laughed at. I mean, sex is, is, can be silly. It can be funny. It can be uh, it can be ravenous. It, it can, can be, be spiritual. It can be, yeah, it can be spiritual, absolutely. It should be. It should um, be. But I think if you fart, I mean, that's funny. Well, so do you know about uh, Make That Ass Talk by Kaya? Let that coochie breathe. Let the coochie breathe. 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 Yeah. Is breathing different than breathing? It is because it's spiritual. Fuck. Yeah. This whole time, I've yeah. been breathing the wrong way. Has your ass ever spoken, pontificated? Pontificated. Yeah. It certainly has in the most diabolical way. Mm. You know, I, just the other day, it, it, it was, I was, I walked into a room and I became flushed with embarrassment. Oh, uh, why? Well, because I was I was in the company of people who I'm not very comfortable with. Oh, so you became uncomfortable and then passed gas because you were in front of them? I passed gas, became uncomfortable, and then Well, this is the thing. You probably never feel uncomfortable when you pass gas in your own home. And I know you have no. your new space. Thank you. Right. Tell me about your new space, about well, decorating. It's the M87. It's the black hole. It's the biggest black hole in, I think, that is uh, was discovered by NASA. Okay. It's an enormous vortex through which the human body can pass through. But once it's through the other side, we don't really know what happens. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's just really fun and exciting for yeah. me and for you. And you can you can release yourself at any point in any manner. I've, absolutely. Right. I mean, release the, the Snyder Cut. You know what Snyder I mean? Snyder Cut. Yeah. <laughs> the Snyder Cut. <laughs> the only thing I know about Snyder's is Snyder's pretzels. Do you like pretzels? Are you fuck? Are you fuck? Am I screaming? Are you joking? I'm not. Do I love pretzels? How much do you love pretzels? Are you fucking kidding me, bitch? Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? I wanted me? to get to this point with you. Are you I fucking knew kidding me? Pretzels? Mama? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's extra dark, burnt to a crisp. Mm. Salty as hell. Salty as hell. Black and salty. Black, Mm -hmm. burnt to a crisp. Yeah. Salty as fuck. The the sourdough nibblers, Mm -hmm. the the giant ones, the the ones you put in the microwave, the ones you put in the oven, the ones you get at Wetzel's, the ones you get um, at the mall. I mean, uh, I love pretzels so much. Do you like pretzels outside of their regular form in other foods like in an ice cream? Oh, okay. Ooh, that's interesting. Let me describe it to you. Okay. It is Ben and Jerry's ice cream mm-hmm. called Glamp Fire Trail Mix. Mm-hmm. And inside of it is chocolate and 
uh, nuts and marshmallow gooey and pieces of salted pretzel mixed into vanilla ice cream with a brown sugar swirl. Would you do it? I would release it. You, you would have to. You would have I, I would no release choice. it into my hole. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would welcome it in like a stray dog, mm-hmm. nurture it for 18 years, and never let it go. Can I put you on my mother's Christmas candy list because she does a pretzel candy, and I think she might like to give you some if she thought you would enjoy it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, she'll just, just a little box. I could not be more thrilled. She would love it. She I would, would love it. it. Have I mentioned the temperature and how erotic it is? I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. And have it's I making mentioned me feel... how much it's you have... making me cum in my pants? Right. How wet and wet and They're drippy wet already? this cunt is. Yeah. Oh, can I swear? You can. Who's going to stop you? The FBI. <laughs> They're not here. Okay, thank God. They're not here. No, you're you fine. Look, you're Mama, fine. you yeah. look so cunt. Your lips are always fucking perfect. Thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Every, uh, Thank uh. you. Mama. We squirt on them. <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> Kathy A. Kathy A. Katia. Katia. KDA. Katia. Yeah. Katia. We are back with KDA and we are talking about April Fools. Oh, yes, we are. What's that? Uh, what's before May? April. It's gonna be May. Oh, I hate. You don't like that. Mama, I hate. Mm. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Justin Timberlake. You don't like, you don't like. I person. do not like him whatsoever. Why? What turns you off? Because he is. Um, his ramen noodle hair, okay. and he emerged from the Super Bowl fiasco unscathed mm-hmm. whilst Miss Janet Jackson was blackballed for how many years? Now, do you blame him for that, or do you blame do. American culture for that? Well, I would blame the FBI first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Then I would blame the CIA, the mm-hmm. PTA, the um, SVU, uh, the Law and Order SVU mm-hmm. show, CSI Miami. I would probably blame everybody. Who do you think uh, would call you back into duty um, sooner, the FBI or the CIA? I think the CIA because the CIA is like cunty, cunty, uh, what does it stand for again? Cunty, um, cunty cunt. interior uh, 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 illusions. A- illusion. il- Allu- illusion. Literary illusions. Illusions. Yes, yeah. yes. I, uh, yeah, CIA for sure. I can FBI, see that. We're, we're in thin ice because of the whole Clary Starling thing. Right, right. Um, do you just eat grains and berries or do you have a fast food place that you like to go to from time to time? Well, could you? Okay. I'm going to try to get this out in as few, be concise as possible. Yeah, but you can use as many words as you want. Why is there always a line at in and out? And I'm talking like it's not, not that just a line. line. It's not. I mean, it's good. I like it. I like mm-hmm. it. I never not like it. But who but, is so obsessed with it? Why is it always down the block? Right. Down Hollywood Boulevard, around the other corner. Why is it why is it the Macy's Day parade every single mm-hmm. day there? No matter if it's 8 a.m. or eleven PM. I don't even know if they're open twenty four hours. They probably are. Why aren't there why aren't they all spread out a little bit? I feel like it might have something to do with people thinking like it's more it's like cooler than all the other places. So they're like, let's take a selfie and Are like, you serious? make sure and take a picture of our vinyl record. What? Like, no way. I think so. It's like that pink wall. Mm-hmm. Do you know that pink wall that's yeah. like by um it's like Melrose or something mm-hmm. in California? There's there's a pink wall. Right. And people just go take the, like they take their pictures at the pink wall. You think they call it the pink wall or the sugar wall? Oh, I wish it was the sugar wall. Right. My sugar walls are gray. They are. Yeah. It would Have be, they been beat up? Beat up like bongos. Bonk, bonk, right. bonk. Beat up. <laughs> when are you performing at brunch soon? Well, the thing is, I don't really believe in brunch as a concept. Okay. I would do breakfast or lunch, but brunch is confusing to me. What would you eat at breakfast? Lunch. You would eat lunch. No, I'm saying. Um, I would eat um, brunch. No, no, I'm kidding. Brunch is good. You like brunch? I do. I don't. I don't like that idea. I'm, I'm a lunch person for sure. No, I like breakfast. I like brunch, and then I like dinner. I don't like lunch that much. Mm. If you could pick three meals, but they all have to be from fast food. Oh God, this is so easy. What would they be? Burger, fries, Coke. From the burgers from Burger King. The fries are from McDonald's, okay. and the um. The Coke is from the um, 
the CVS, one of those like Mexican bottles. Oh, cups. like a bottle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then um, French toast, French toast, French toast. You like French toast? French toast, um, like thick French toast with berries and whipped cream and then syrup and then mm-hmm. crispy bacon, not fatty bacon, sure. crispy bacon. Sure. Have you made your bacon in the oven before? I've never made bacon before. That's the way to do it. Some people fry bacon in water. You ever heard of that? No. Yeah, you can do that. Do you drink Sprite? Are you joking? Do you drink Sprite? You do. You like it? I love it. Have you ever had a Sprite from McDonald's? Yes, I have. You can fry fish in that Sprite. What? Mm -hmm. It's so fish fried that it burns the fish. Is it true what they say about Coca Cola and it um, taking the rust off your toilet? I don't have a toilet. We don't have toilets here. We think it's really gross. Yeah, and also the people at this lovely podcast have, um, when I asked to go to the toilet, not only did they laugh at me, Uh they also slapped me in the face and then they they shoved a huge cock (gasps) up my butt. It wasn't huge. It was one, but it wasn't huge. It was huge. Delta, I- For you. Yes. Okay, but you know, size is relative and you know that I have the tiniest little pussy and if, if anything bumps against my cervix- I oh just, I can't get anything done. Right, right. Long story short, there's no toilet here. Right. And I'm so happy. And there's not going to be. We don't need one. No. For what reason? You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Shut Thank up. you. You're lying. I appreciate that. Let me ask you this. This is like a real, real, real question. You make tons of digital content, podcasts, web shows, TV shows, commercials. You're on camera a lot. But how are you doing if somebody invites you to the club? To you the gonna club? Dro- dro- go to the club and just drop in a number? You gonna do that? Like, oh, turn up at the club? Yeah, like just like go off. Like, oh, like um, you know, like in those songs where they say like, uh, we're in the club and the music's loud and the DJ is playing my favorite song, right? And we're surrounded by friends and we're we're drinking and it's like that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I even say like, we'll let you make money. You can keep all your tips. Imagine that. What do you think is a good amount of tip money off of a number that's four minutes long? Oh, it depends on when, when we're talking about. We're talking about right now. I'm going to give the DJ a Dropbox link to mm-hmm. a Pussycat Dolls mix that okay. you're going to perform. Mm-hmm. It's six minutes and 46 seconds. And there are you have access to 200 people that are seated. You have okay. a stage that's not really a stage, it's just a dance floor. Okay. So you don't have to do all kinds of craziness, but you okay. can if you want. Okay. And what year are we talking? We're, this is, um, this is, you have just left Drag Race for the very first time, and you are in um, Branson, Missouri. Okay. I just left Drag Race, been on the show? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, six minute pussy cat p- yeah. doll mix. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would, wa- I would want, I would want like five hundred dollars yeah before drag race i was lucky to get four yeah three dollars maybe mm-hmm. have you ever done a show to nobody yes <laughs> yes I have, have you ever done delta have you ever a do, lot have you ever done a show to recently not one single person in the crowd not not one not not one but under four people okay see this is the fucking thing when you're before drag race of course if you do it, I've done shows to zero people. And I'm talking zero. Yeah, I've never been that much of a loser, but, I, <laughs> but I'm pretty bad off. Mama. But I'll tell you, you know what's worse than zero? Two. Because then it's like, great. We got to do a show to two people. Two people are 200. They're getting the same show from me. No, they're not. No, they're fucking not. No, they're not. No, they're, no, not. they're not. Oh, they're not. And I'm not being fucked up. It's just true. Mama, zero people are getting the best show in the world. Right. Two people are getting boo-boo garbage. Zero people, because I'll come out and be like, oh, oh, shit. And I'll, I'll, I'll lip sync to some like Serbian B-side okay. for 14 minutes because I live right upstairs. Right. You know, but two people, mm-hmm. two people is so stressful. Mm-hmm. It's so stressful because it's like, why don't you just go home? Right. Just go home. Get the hell out of here. Although one time, I have to say, there was a show with three people in it. There were three, wait, three of us. Nobody came until maybe a half an hour before closing time. And guess who showed up? The wives of famous football and basketball players. Oh. And they uh, took scoopfuls of cash 
and threw it at our faces. Did it hurt? It hurt so much going to the bank next day and paying three months of rent. It was so cunty. It was so cunty. It was so bizarre. Such an such an outlier. But that was not a common thing, of course. What do you think makes something um, really joyous, but then takes it to the next level to cunty? From joy to cunty. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. From uh, it's like from Justin to Kelly. Right. From like, joy to yeah. from joyous to cunty. I think like Christmas is joyous. Mm-hmm. Um, but Santa's cunty. Okay. You know what I mean? Christmas time is joyous, but Santa Claus is cunty. Do you prefer a Santa Claus that is in the red velvet suit or a workshop Santa Claus? I don't care as long as he's black. Okay. Okay. As long as he's black. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, where are the fucking black Santa Clauses? They're all over. Uh, I mean, really, they are. Go to the mall. You've never been to the mall? Do you, do you know what a mall is? We have a lot of malls in Southern California. Mall. Yeah, mall. Um, Mall. You would find a store like Judy's, Petrie's Plus. Petrie's? There would be like August Petri- Max Woman. August Max Lecters. Woman. Lecters. Lecters. Olin Mills. Laureates. You would find Payless Shoe Source. What about Claire's? You would find Claire's. You know that they have Claire's now inside Walmart's? You can get your clit pierced at Claire's. Clit pierced at a Claire's in Walmart? In the Walmart. That's from Joyous to Cunty. Right. You walk in Joyous right. to Walmart. You get right. your clit pierced, you leave Cunty. You get your cunt pierced. Cunt? Oh, Mary. Yeah. Have you had, what have you had pierced? Nothing. And what can we do today? I have no piercings and I have no tattoos. Okay. How I'm not do, opposed to them. Great, I just, let's, I got my guy in the back. Let's let's figure okay, that out for you. What 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 piercing do you think? Let's well, do a facial piercing. Okay, well, I've had this and this. When I, okay. as soon as I left to call, as soon as I left like uh, my parents' house, uh, I got this and this. It was very strange. And it was a crunch. They they take a clamp. Why were you not allowed to do it at your parents? They, it's just like a cult thing. My parents were vehemently anti-piercing as we were living in the woods at the time. Right. Um. So it was. Uh. They took a, a tong. A, a, you know, like a, a small little tong. Okay. And then this guy who was so hot, this man was so hot, and he had to get in like right on top of my body. Sure. His, his leverage. Leverage. Yeah. He had to brace himself mm-hmm. on his musculature. Had to be braced on my physicality, and he. His knee was in my crotch. I could feel the hot breath on his, on my like my like dewy decolletage, and I was like, and he slammed the fucking uh, needle through the tongue, and I heard a mm. crunch. I heard that crunch. Mm-hmm. I heard that crunch, and then I th- I said to myself, I, I'm I'm gay. I, yeah. That's when I knew I was like you gay knew. for real, gay, real gay. What do you think the crunch? Like, was it crunch like a carrot crunchy? It, it was like a um. Like a, do it again. Okay, I wait, wait. Oh, I it can, was like I can almost taste it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like um, a, it was just like a slurpy crunch, mm-hmm. like a slunch. A slunch. A slunch. A slurpy See, I've never crunch. been able to describe that to people. A slurpy because, like, crunch. When you're getting punched and you're like, oh, is this a sex feels thing? Very slunch. Is this a sex thing? Yeah. It's definitely a sex thing. It's always a sex God. thing. How it's much- always going to boil down to food, then fast food, and then sex, noises, sounds, and farts. That's what we do here. Okay, T. But how about this, though? Um, I think it was, was it Janelle Monet or somebody like that who said who everything. <laughs> Janelle Monet farted. She slunched. Don't you think Janelle Monet should release? She should be the person who releases the next Bond theme. Janelle Monet. I am on this fucking, so hard. I, she should be a, a Bond. A, she should be a Bond girl. Jane Bond. She should be James Bond. Jane Bond. Down. Mama. She's so hot to me. What about this Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead remake? I mean Mary Do You know what? I'm not a filmmaker. Okay. So I, 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 don't, I don't know enough about filmmaking, but I do think a lot more people should write new movies. Why is it this obsession with re... Um, what is it? Defibrillating... Um, Existing IP. I think people don't like where we are in the world, and they want so back to. They want to harken back to something they remember as safe. Oh, yeah. And, and and I like Spider Man. Right. So I think that's what they think they can do. They can help people capture that. Yeah. And it's not happening. Right. The world's falling apart. So I need my. Um, well, okay. The Marvel Universe, hmm. Marvel Cinematic Universe. I, I don't have, watch cartoons. Okay. I don't either. Okay. So, but I did watch Wandavision. And that I gotta say was really good. 
I, every time I heard the name WandaVision, I thought it was like a Wanda Sykes That's what for I, America's Best I was eyeglasses like, what contest. Wanda? What is this? <laughs> I did. That's what totally. I thought. It does. It and does. I love Wanda Sykes. <laughs> I, know, I, I, <laughs> I do. I love her. I do too. I actually. I think I met her once. I, we slunched one day. You slunched. Yeah, no, we slunched. But um, <laughs> I think slunch is like a, a, is like supper brunch, supper lunch. So brunch is breakfast lunch, lunch and supper. slunch is lunch supper. Oh, is it like a big snack? It's like another reason for people to put on a drag show during the day. Now, I would fuck up a slunch show. You would? See, yeah, I not would dinner too. theater, slunch. Do you like dinner salads? Of course. Yes. Yeah, see, I have to have a dinner salad. Before Garden everything. salad? But I don't like cheese. Garden salad. Garden salad. But I want big, thick, juicy vegetables yeah, and yeah, a yeah. lot of balsamic vinaigrette. And don't you dare put any fucking blue cheese on that thing. No, I hold the space for your salad. Thank I you. really do. I think when you, I like when people have a very, pointed opinion about what they want to eat because I think that you won't fuck it up if they already told you what they wanted stop playing in their face like make what they ask I'm a very picky eater it has cost me a lot of relationships you know what you're not picky you're particular I am discerning how's like that? that discerning I like discerning that. Kind of, I'm a discerning I'm not a uh, what do you call it uh, cunty dis- a cunty yeah. you're from a cunt- joyous you're to cunty. cunty yeah let's take a break <laughs> Twenty four, thirty two, thirty eight, and yes, they're real. <laughs> we are back with Kathy A. Hey, how's the temperature feeling for you in here? Oh, I don't know. It's just making me come from every orifice. In fact, every single pore of my body is oozing semen. Hot cum. What hot, I love about cum. what I love about you that that like not super a lot of hot people sperm, have sperm, yeah. sperms. Not a lot of Ovary people have sperms. the ability to orgasm. With a poker face, and you're able to do that. Not everyone knows. Like that's something that you. Could, that's actually your superhero power. We were talking a little bit about Marvel, mm. and I think you could be a character called Piston. Oh yes. And you would look the way you look, and you would be having these orgasms without anyone really knowing until mm. you got up from the seat. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. Every, no, every, see the thing is, is that. I le- I would leave a room. I would enter a room dry, mm-hmm. and I would leave the room soaking wet. Right, but there'd be no no activity happening. None. None. Um, this is the part of the podcast, um, where people write in letters. Read me, Delta. If you want to send us a letter and you want your letter answered, send it to readmedelta at gmail.com. Questions, uh, queries. Sometimes they need advice. Queries. Queries. A lot of people don't use that term anymore. I love queries. Would you say query or query? Uh, I was saying Aquarius, actually, but, you know. Wait, I need to ask you. You've been in Los Angeles quite some time. My whole life. Your whole life. Mm -hmm. What in the mother hopping hell is up with astrology? horoscopes like what's your sign and then you say this and then and there, that's there's no further uh investigation that's or my exploration. question that's what i usually do i go when were you born and mm-hmm. then people are like oh whatever and i'm like oh and what sign is that and mm-hmm. then they'll say oh it's my sign is equinox yeah and i'm like oh well Fierce. i'm sure yeah. that means something i don't know my sign is spina bifida right yeah, yeah and i feel like i should know but i don't know i only know my shit you know would you i have never so i'm from the east coast i had never pre and I right uh, close to Salem, which is a, the witch town. You know, a lot of witchy things going on there. I had never encountered such rampant, ignorant, flagrant a uh, 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 use of horoscopes and astrology for for no reason. Mm-hmm. It's like it, it, it's just you don't like it. I I like it when I like mythology. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like Greek Greek mythology, Roman. Uh, uh, uh. It's fun, but like, it's just so, it, it's so meaningless. Do you like taxidermy? Oh, yes. Yeah. I've got two giant fucking Gila monsters in my kitchen right now. Mm-hmm. They're, they're going to go somewhere else, but I love, right. um, well, you know what? It's funny, Delta, I have to, I hate to say this out loud, um, but I will. Yeah, you, this is the place to do it. I got a huge, huge, Cock. oh no, boar that has a tongue out in, in, um, Big, uh, big tusks, uh-huh. and I. The first thing I, I, I thought of is like, I'm probably gonna stick my dick in that thing. Have you? Not yet. I'm not 
crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for the right time. Right. And well, we. But we, I mean, don't you think that's mm-hmm. like if you see a big open mouth, what do you think about? I could probably make my mouth bigger. <laughs> we were talking about that. Like, um, you know, Big Dipper. Yes. He has a small tongue. He has a very small tongue. And I thought, wow, that he has small features in general, but he has a small tongue. Because I saw small him doing something tongue. and it was like this. Like he, he the, and he was like trying to go all out, and you know he boasts that he that he fellates a lot of people. Oh, I don't right? know he about says that. He with does small all the time tongue. on the podcast, and like they they release their podcast twice a week. And Micro well, every time I had some more, I had some more, I had some more, and um, but I'm like, I want to see the tongue out, yeah, and then it going in. You know what I mean? Thank you. Like Thank I don't want to see like, Mama. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Girl, bye. How about, well, <laughs> that's good for an elevator button. Right. Right. You know, or like a, a, a hors d'oeuvre, a cornichon. Horse d'oeuvre. <laughs> Do you Corn- guys have any horse d'oeuvres here? <laughs> what is up with that word? I mean, I, I know it's know. French, but like, give me a break. Right. Just say finger foods. Right. Just say finger foods. Just say mini corn dogs. Thank you. That's Pigs and blankets. Okay, listen, we have to answer this question because they're dying. <sighs> Dear Delta and Katya, do you have any suggestions for some fun activities my partner and I can do together as a couple? Most of the time, we just chill at home. On our phones or watching something together. I love being with him no matter what we're doing, um, no matter where we are. And we're both pretty shy and introverted. But I'd like if we had some more exciting things to do together. Oh, my God. Please share your wisdom with me. Love you always. Very flower. Very flower. I say, I'm with you. I think the taxidermy is really a good mm-hmm. idea. Yeah. Because you both have an equal shot at something. It's it, You're not really bringing a third in. Yeah. In the same manner. Do you know what I mean? What Absolutely. I mean, I think that's great. I also, I would suggest like uh, role playing like a B&E. Okay. Like, um, so you're, for example, I tried to do this with a guy. He just didn't have the improv yes and skills to go through with it. But I was like, I'm going to be al- alone in my bed, slinky peignoir, you know, um, champagne teddy, uh, mother of pearl toe buckle mules on um, with the pin light softly on my hair, you know, and just like dozing off, um, vulnerable, naked, alone, afraid, liable to be attacked. And he was going to bust through the door with a ski mask on and then ravish me. Mm-hmm. And I was going to scream and, and like, you know, oh, no. And then, you know, throw like a, a vase at him, with like a sugar last one, of course. Mm-hmm. And then um, chase me around the, the apartment for like three and a half hours and then fuck me. And he ran out of steam, girl. He I'm ran already, out of steam. See, I'm already seeing like this. This is very layered. And I think um, you are. I see you as a businesswoman. Excuse me? I do. No, I'm a pleasure woman. Oh, are you a are you a Delta? When you do something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. But as a businesswoman, mm-hmm. you could, I heard you use a word that not a lot of people use, but I use a lot, and that's peignoir. <gasps> peignoir. And the way it's spelled is P E G noir. <laughs> and that could be your new item. It's lingerie called P E G noir. Oh my God. That's and it'll slinky. be your line. Oh, uh, you know what? It's so funny. You're, I'm not a businesswoman. And, and, um, uh, you know, Trixie's always saying, you should, you know, you should sell something. You should sell something. It's like, I don't want to sell stuff. I like it. You don't want to sell it. No, I want it for me. Right. Well, you can have it for you and model it for you. And then, and then let it, other though. people enjoy what it is no. that you're enjoying. They want to release as well. No. They want to feel that orgasm without showing people. No. You have to. This is what you need to do with your partner. You need to go to Soup Plantation when it opens back up here in Southern California. Soup Plantation? You've never been? Uh, It's it's a different company. It's called Soup and Fresh, but they're opening the others. So the idea here is that together you should go on a trip. Yes. You should engage in a little bit of bondage, possibly. Maybe just go find... The last blockbuster music and rent uh, exit the last block blockbuster clock block 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 back with the block rock and beat. Yeah, go to a prodigy concert. Right, go to a prodigy or grease up a watermelon, throw it in the pool. Oh, have you ever? Have you ever? I have, but have you never? Have you ever lit a like a. Uh, Lit a fart? No, no. A fire? No. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever found bones in a in the human bones? <laughs> I was going to ask if you ever fucked a dead animal, but I know the answer to that no, question. No, but I have a I know the answer to that house, question, which is fine. No way, with Liz. My sophomore English teacher, Mrs. Treadwell, had uh-huh. mannequins all over her three-story Victorian house. Uh, she I lived alone. Victorian home. She lived alone, and I bought one off her when. I bought one off her. I don't know how it came to, I came to know that she possessed mannequins, but they were all dressed up in her house, like dozens of them. And I bought one off her for $200. Do you still have it? 
No, and I don't even know what I did with it, but I was thinking, what is that life? A, a spinster, house filled with mannequins. Does she talk to them? Does she rub up on them? Does she have conversations with them? Does yes, she rehearse all stuff? Of it. Does she get in fights with them? What do they would attack you do her? With them? I mean, I would, I, what wouldn't I do, I guess, is more of the question. I had a mega fuck slut once, a, um, a oh. giant silicone torso, headless, armless, legless, uh, big fuckable titties, hu- uh, huge, it was said 25 pounds of hot mega fuck action. Mm-hmm. And it had a, it was a female body, very like Jessica Rabbit style, voluptuous, big, huge tits, mm-hmm. big ass, and it had a pussy and an asshole. And I fucked it like three times and I threw it in the dumpster. Did you touch the boobs? I, yeah. Yeah, just because. Yeah, it was like, because there, I mean, it was very like, you just lay on top of it. I fucked the front and the back and then I was like, I think I'm done. But my mom had to, um, my mom saw the box and I was super embarrassed. Why? You have all those places in the woods you could have hidden that. I know. We just don't have that kind of relationship yet. Okay, I'm going to read this letter okay. to you. Dearest Delta and Katya, how do you feel about drive through restaurants refusing to provide a straw with your beverage? I recently visited a specific donut-themed drive through restaurant in the Valley the other day. When I received my beverage at the window and paid for my transaction, I noticed they forgot to include a straw with my bag. I politely asked for a straw, believing and accepting I'd likely receive a straw of the paper variety gag, but I digress. Ugh. However, to my surprise, I was Ugh. met with a curt no from the employee at the window. Love it. Stunned and slightly embarrassed, I asked, <laughs> well, why not? And they replied that their location does not provide any type of straw with any beverage, citing community guidelines in an effort to reduce waste. Looking first at my plastic cup, paper bag, then back at the employee, I politely thanked them, <laughs> told them to have a nice day, and I drove away. Is the burning anger I feel when I recall this memory warranted or team too much? Should I petition my congressperson to investigate? Mm. Are strawless community guidelines very Delta? Love, Davey. I mean, this is so clear. This is so cl- cut and dry. I think it's amazing when anybody complains about anything. Yeah. Because I don't know about you, but I've worked so many incredibly, horrifyingly bad retail jobs. Mm-hmm. And I've seen it all. Mm-hmm. And so when somebody's like, I don't, you know, you know, this is, I'm like, okay. Yeah. You know, you, if you watch this show or listen to this show, I've given this advice before. And that is that every time you go to any other drive through restaurant, you ask for a straw, whether they've given you one or not, and you keep it in the driver's side door because these things will happen. Mm-hmm. And whether they wanted to give you the straw or not, um, really is not the issue. They can't do it because of community guidelines. So you do kind of have to provide your own. Yeah. Also, just drink out of the cup, you fucking freak. You could just drink out of the cup. Drink out of the damn cup. Mm -hmm. Slunch it down. Slunch it down. Slunch. (laughs) Slunch. And if you 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 have to stop short and it goes on your face, that's a comedy moment. I think... See, I I, want to go back to Sutter real quick. I don't think they were refusing... How do you feel when restaurants refuse to provide? I think they were abiding by the rules set forth by the city. What about paper straws, though? What is that farce? What is that farce? Yeah. Paper straw? Yeah. It's like, like would you want some tissue? you want to slurp your uh, uh, Sprite up with a tissue paper? You want to slurch it? Slurp it up. You want to slurp, slunch it? Slunch. <laughs> slurp down that slunch. You like to get slunched? <laughs> Wait, I had a nine-inch cock up my ass the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. And what was the sensation there? Well, it was... Um, it was, it was frightening, and uh-huh. then it was reassuring, but then it was ultimately kind of devastating. How long would you say it was compared to that? Well, this is four inches, right? Right. Six. It was right. like definitely. It was. Definitely. I mean, it was. I prefer. Call me crazy. I prefer a penis or ugh, gross a cock. Uh huh. That's um. Co- it was very large, but I don't like it when they're super super hard. Oh, it's just you like, so, do you like gummy cocks? Yes. Yeah. If it's like oh. larger and it's like 75% hard or like 80, 85 is pushing it. I definitely don't want a hundred because then it's just like a rigid steel pole. Mm-hmm. And no matter the length, the bus like bangs my cervix. So okay. I just love like a, mm. a little bendy, a little like, but also I slapped it on my mouth or I was like, uh, and my friend said, that's so corny. Corny. Yeah. Do you think that's corny or do you think that's sexy? Corny or horny? Uh, I think it's kind of porny. Porny. Like, yeah. I don't know. I felt like I went from joyous to cunty when I, I did it. I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. I could see the joy have, in that for do sure. Do you have sex? 
Um, I it, it depends on what I'm wearing, what fragrance I'm wearing. What right. is your go-to sexual come hither fragrance? Um, have you ever seen those cigar perfumes that say Cuba on them? No. No, you can buy those like in downtown LA. Those are very, very sexual fragrances. And they're roundish and they're only about that tall. Okay. So you can insert them mm-hmm. right into the poussoir. And it's already brown, so you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to like not eat all day. From and... Justin and Kelly from Gray to Brown. Right, from Gray to Brown. From Gray to Brown. Um Thank you for being here. That's it? That's it? I'm not going anywhere. Oh, you're going. No, I'm not. Oh, you're going. I'm staying. We have to have the couch clean. God damn it. I'll, you know what? I'll just, can I just be like Ed McMahon and have, be, uh, be the sidekick to, for your next stain guest? stain on there. Oh, yeah. Do you think it's warm, the stain, or do you think it comes out kind of cold? That's for me to know and for you to find out. Is this a taste test? I hope so. It tastes like Boeuf Bourguignon. <laughs> <laughs> Boeuf Bourguignon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and listening to Very Delta. Our show comes out every Monday. Subscribe to Mom Podcast YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so you never miss an episode. Also search for Very Delta on your favorite podcast apps to listen to the audio only version if you just can't take all of this beauty. It's a lot to take. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to take. But may I just please say one thing, you fucking wonderful person? Say it. I despise toxic waste. And you heard it here mm-hmm. at Very Delta. You can also sign up for our premium offerings on Mom Plus Gold by visiting mompodcast.plus, where you can also get weekly episodes of more Very Delta. Don't forget to send all your questions to readmedelta at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Delta Work. Where can people follow you and all of Through the travels? streets and into my bedroom to fuck me. Do you put up Craigslist dads still? I can't believe you didn't ask me this first, you bitch. I know. You fucking bitch. You do. I. It doesn't exist anymore, Mary. It does. You just have to do it a different way, girl. I have a friend that. You does think it. they're gonna? Do you think they're gonna find it? No, I have a friend that does it. You're joking. Mm-mm. Do you she know that this up, wig she, is wet because I took it home the other night to go? She puts up an ad for a microwave for sale. No, not on for sale. And then when oh you my look God. In, when you zoom in on the picture, there's her ass. Mama, I promise. I'm going to be in the frozen food section of Craigslist. I promise you. Yeah, seeking a hot, no, a frozen turd, um, microwavable. A frozen turd. A microwavable frozen turd that um, it can go straight up your ass. I thought thought I was the only person who who ever thought about that. No, it's Mama Germany. Do that, Germany. Go to fucking Germany. Like a chocolate dipped banana, but it's a turd, and then you use that, Mama, and it pre lubes you, Mama. It's if it's cold and it melts. Thank you. It's like people in Berlin, Berlin, Germany need to just. How about in Berlin? How about Berlin as well? Yeah. Well, that's when um they take the frozen turd and they do the scissorp. Uh huh. The Berlin. Berlin. (laughs) It's a Berlin way. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Until next week, keep things very Delta. And God bless America. You heard it here first. To listen to Very Delta ad-free a day early and to get access to more Very Delta, sign up for Mom Plus Gold at mompodcast.plus. Very Delta is produced by Moguls of Media, a.k.a. Mom, hosted by Delta Work. Production supervision and engineering by Margot Padilla. Editing and post-production by Doug Robertson. With original theme music by Will Pitts. Executive produced by Willem, Alaska, Big Dipper, Camille Stennis, and Joe Cilio. Nothing you fucking say matters unless that camera's rolling, bitch. Oh my god. Mom! Mom.